Just making easy throws, uh, combining the punch buttons, combining the kick buttons allows for just, you know, it just gives you a little bit of an edge if you're if you're not as technical, which I certainly am not. Got it. Yeah, oh, so I Mark. Think I, I think I screwed myself up here. Yeah. <laughs> Mark's uh, Mark's gonna go with uh, Aliza. She's the the D order, uh, excuse me, uh, DLC pre order bonus. So if you pre order the game uh, before launch on June second, you will get Aliza on day one. Uh, oh, it's a great value proposition. I mean, you get to add a new a uh, new character to the roster. She's an awesome character. So uh, yeah, get out there and pre-order. Very nice. Uh, this is coming, I want to say June 2nd? June 2nd on uh, PlayStation 4. This is right around the corner. Yeah, exactly. One month away. We're only one, today, yeah, today, yeah, today we're recording is uh, one month away, so. <laughs> All right, so uh, I've been playing this series forever. Um, so what is somebody like me who's like kind of a veteran of the series, what are they going to maybe notice first and foremost with Tekken 7? First and foremost, you'll probably notice like right at the character selection, right <laughs> when you load into the match, there's two new things here. There's the Rage Art and the Rage Drive. So you see it as you're going into the match, Rage Art with Paul, once you get down to where your life bar is flashing red, you're able to do a super powerful attack with both punches. And uh, once we get there, I'll call it out. That way you can kind of try it out. But he has access to the Rage Drive and... Uh, just a number of options now. When you are close to dying, there's like way more stuff that you can do, and it's really cool. Yeah, so when your character glows red when you're low health, you actually do more damage. So you have a higher chance of coming back. And then as Mark mentioned, there's two uh, particular types of move, a rage art and a rage drive. A rage art, as you can see there, so yeah. now you're in rage. Just hit both punches together at the same time, and it does this ultra powerful attack. So that's, so that's the rage art, and yeah. that'll start an auto combo. Super powerful move, Interesting. obviously. But once you use your I rage. I needed that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But once you use your rage move, you don't get it back. But I think you're going to get hit there. And, uh, and Elisa's got a really awesome one. <laughs> this is cool. Like, Tekken can be famous for some blowouts. So this is like a little bit of an exactly, equalizer, I exactly. think. Exactly. So we wanted to give uh, an option for players that maybe aren't quite as good or just getting slammed up against the side, get, get hit into a really big combo. It allows you to kind of turn the tables and come back. Nice. And then there's also another uh, rage move uh, called the Rage Drive. Um, yeah. And that's actually more of a technical input, um, but it's good for, to put in between a combo. It's also a good combo mm. starter. Um, it's, it's for a higher level play, but if you can link it in the right way, it can be devastating. I'm gonna get you. Oh, maybe. Gotta get that death fist in there. Uh -oh, <laughs> okay, uh -oh. here we go again. So Eliza oh. is a pretty interesting character. As you can see, she has an EX meter. Um, there's oh. only two characters in the game that has, you know, have an EX meter. That's Akuma and Eliza. Mm. So Eliza nice. has an interesting way that she builds her EX meter. Uh, Mark can show you. Uh, she actually has this option where she can go to sleep. Yeah, so she's really weird. So the way her meter works is like just like a lot of things. Like if you're doing attacks, it'll slowly go up. But if she can go to sleep, she's a narcoleptic vampire. Mm -hmm. She builds up meter <laughs> way faster. So she's you'll notice a narcoleptic there. vampire. Correct. Yeah. She she tends to have conversations with a lot of the characters and interacts with them. Then she'll just fall asleep out of nowhere. That's incredible. So you see, as she's falling asleep, she's vulnerable. So you can actually hit me while I'm falling asleep. Bam! And kind of interrupt me from uh, building that meter. Interesting. So okay. her her blood gauge will fill over time, and she becomes much more dangerous once she has the blood gauge because she has fireballs. She has a, a bevy yeah. of moves, and then she could cancel her fireballs and do even uh, ex moves. So she has an EX dive kick, which goes right into combo. She has an EX kind of like similar, like in a dragon punch motion. Huh. You guys been busy. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing all the like Tekken 3 stuff here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it still works. Trust <laughs> yeah. me. Oh. Uh, nice, good counter hit there. Bam. You know, and a lot of the bam, a lot of the combos <laughs> from from the older games, uh, you know, Fight. translate to some degree. There's obviously new combos, um, and in actually the training mode, you can actually go in and, and see some of the combos. Some of the more technical combos, some of the beginner combos. Um, so if you're just starting out, there's a lot of ways to kind of get into that the more competitive play. Um, obviously, if you play online, you're gonna <laughs> run into a lot of combos. So we have your uh, your life bar flashing now. So once you have flashing life, you actually do more damage. But we mentioned ah. earlier you did the rage art, but you also have the rage drive, which Dalton mentioned. And if you know his Phoenix Master, his quarter circle yep. forward right punch. Yeah. He has an ultra powerful version of that if you do both punches. Oh, okay. Where he sparks blue and it just knocks the opponent across the stage. A great comeback mechanic, really, if you're going it right into oh, the match. Yeah, I need yeah that so you one. can use that to and then start a combo, to follow up on that. Or if you could actually put that into the middle of a combo, you know, you could really link that into something huge. So, yeah, as we said, we wanted to give um, <laughs> players an option to come back. You know, we wanted to. Uh, we didn't want someone to get steamrolled uh, in one combo, so the rage, the rage mechanics uh, really offer that that option for players that maybe aren't quite as good, or if you're playing at a really high level, um, 
if you just get bodied in the beginning, you can kind of turn it around and uh, adds for a really interesting uh, kind of cinematic mechanic to it. Um, there's also slow-mo finishes. Hopefully we'll see some here. But if two players at the end of a match hit each other at the same time, it'll it'll zoom in and go into slow-mo, and you can actually see who, who landed <laughs> the hit, which is awesome. So I actually bested you. You were playing at full capability there. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> I, I feel really sad now because I know this is probably your first time really touching it, too. I was like, uh, let's try out some different characters yeah. here. Yeah, I could just feel him toying with me, which is, I mean, you got to do.